Welcome to the StoryPix mobile tutorial. When you've entered in your details, press login to begin. On the project screen, press the plus symbol to start your story. You can take a photo or choose an image from your library. Let's try taking a photo first. You will now see your standard camera menu. You can use it to take a photograph. If you're happy with your photograph, you can select the Use Photo option, but for this tutorial, we will use one from the library. To do this, select Choose Photo from Library. Find the photo you wish to use by selecting it from your menu. In this example, we will use the Mona Lisa. Now you're on the canvas, you can start manipulating the image to fit your story. You can position the image. You can rotate the image. You can also zoom in and out. You can reset the image at any point by double tapping the screen. You can add new scenes by pressing the plus symbol in the bottom left corner. Select different scenes using the arrows on either side of the screen. To delete a scene, press the trash symbol in the bottom right hand corner. Confirm you want to delete by pressing trash again. StoryPix also has a timeline view. To activate it, tap on the scene information. The timeline view is ideal for landscape mode, where you can add new scenes by pressing the plus symbol. By pressing the edit button, you'll be able to delete individual scenes. Simply press the trash symbol and trash again to delete. Press the X button to exit edit mode. To close the timeline view, press anywhere on the screen. Now that we have an understanding about how StoryPix works, let's start making a story. Set your scenes by positioning your image. Now your scenes are set, tap the microphone icon at the top of the screen to enter voiceover mode. Navigate to your first scene and press the record button. You will need to grant StoryPix permission to use your microphone. Once you have allowed it, a three second countdown will begin. After the countdown, you can begin recording. Press the stop button when you have finished recording. You can listen back to your recording by pressing the play button. You can delete the recording by pressing the trash icon. To record concurrent scenes, Press the record button, and when you're ready to move on, press the right arrow. Now we are going to add closed captions to our story. Press the CC icon at the top of the screen. Tap the text at the bottom of the screen to enter into the closed captions view. To activate your keypad, tap the writing at the top of this view and begin typing. When you're happy with the text for that particular scene, you can use the arrows to move on to the next scene. Once you have finished, press the tick button to view your captions. If any errors have been made, select the text to begin editing it. Now we are ready to preview our story. Press the play icon at the top of the screen. To go into preview mode, select the option on the left. Press play to review your story. Press the X button in the top left corner to exit this mode. StoryPix also has a present mode. Press the play button again. Now press the button on the right. In present mode, you can go forwards and backwards through your scenes by pressing the arrows on the left or right. When you're presenting, you could turn your closed captions off and on by pressing the CC button in the top left corner. Press the X button in the top left corner when you finish presenting. To convert your story to a video and share it with people, press the share button at the top of the screen. You'll be presented with three sharing options, public, private, and unlisted. Public means anyone can view it. 
private means only you can view it, and unlisted means you will need the correct link to view it. Choose your visibility option and then begin your render. Once your story is uploaded, we will provide you with a link. You can go to Shoko and wait for it to be published, or alternatively, we will email you once it is ready to view. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We look forward to seeing your stories.